and tape. Experiment with pitch and learn how sound is made by simply blowing air through a straw. The materials you will need are scissors, a marker, straws, a ruler, and tape. Start off by lining up seven to 10 drinking straws on a smooth surface. I chose seven. Leave the first straw alone and then use a ruler and scissors to trim one half inch from the second straw. As you can see, I have cut half an inch from the second straw. Now, for the third straw, cut off one inch. So I'm gonna measure, then mark. Place it right there. For the fourth straw, we're gonna be cutting out one and a half inch. Now I have four straws cut in different sizes. Cut an additional one half inch from each successive straw. So I'm gonna take another straw and cut two inches off this time. I've cut all the straws in different sizes. Now, place a long piece of tape on a smooth surface with the sticky side up. Now, arrange the straws on the tape from longest to shortest with the tops of the straws flush in a line. So, one of them like that. Let's keep this ruler over here so we'll know it's supposed to be that way. Now the next one. Fold the tape over the straws and secure it on the other side. That's what we've done. Play the pan flute by holding the straight edge of the straws up and blowing air across the top of the straws. Now I'm going to play my pan flute. Wow, that was so much fun. Now let's make some observations. Which straw makes the highest pitch? Which straw makes the lowest? Is there a relationship between the length of the straw and the sound that comes out of it? How and why does this work? Sound is produced by the vibration of air blowing across the open hole at the end of a resonating tube. This is the same way that sound is produced through a trumpet or a recorder. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.